Shout out. Hello there again, boys and girls. It is the DAUG here, aka this phone's a piece of shit. This is the second time I've had to do this. Hashtag, this phone sucks. Who's that driver? As you can tell, I'm on the road again doing this video. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do this yesterday, but I kind of hurt my back on Monday evening. Um, hashtag, rubber ducky made me fall in the tub. By the way, that's a joke. You can all laugh at my silliness. Um, but it's time to discuss the Plus Games for March. Of course, don't forget to download the Plus Games for February before Tuesday. So let's discuss the PS4 ones we're getting. The first one is technically PS4 and PS5. It is Ghost Tsushima Legends, a.k.a. What happens when you do a Japanese single-player game, turn it to a multiplayer, and give everybody swords and bow and arrows? Death. Um, but like I just said, though, it's the multiplayer one. So if you're expecting to get the single-player campaign, no, 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 no. Access denied. Password not acceptable. Do not pass go. Do not get $200. Um, it is the multiplayer mode. I haven't really tried it yet. As you guys know, I've been Let's Play Ghost of Tsushima. Haven't tried the Legends mode yet because we're doing the single player campaign. Um, but it will be interesting to see how many people actually are happy with Ghost of Tsushima Legends multiplayer. Won't be interesting. So let's discuss the other three now. The first one is the PS5 game. PS5 because it's not that you're not getting both versions. You're only getting the PS5. So if you don't have a PS5, well, sorry about your damn luck, as James Storm would say. It is Ghost Runner, which is a six out of ten platinum difficulty. You can do everything in one run, uh, one playthrough. If you don't know what run means, it means one playthrough, and it takes about twelve hours. Now this is kind of set in a cyberpunk setting universe. And there's a lot of parkour, but you get a big, nice sword, and you can kill people. Who Yay! Does, who doesn't love killing people with swords? As you guys know, that's pretty much what we've been doing with Ghost of Tsushima. And then, of course, Devil May Cry, and technically Bayonetta. <laughs> My comic relief, everybody. She's a, she's a nice little peanut. <laughs> um, Ghost Sword is a good game, though. I bought it when it was on set because the trailer intrigued me. And then, of course... Looking at the reviews, usually I don't go by reviews, but this is one of the few times I did. It is a very fun game, but it would test you a bit because of its difficulty on the Platinum Run. So if you're going for the Platinum Run, just know it would take you a little bit of time and mastery. So the next game, well, time to go racing with S -S Sonic the Hedgehog because it's Team Sonic Racing, which is going to be the PS4. The Platinum is a 4 out of 10, and I'll get to why in a minute. Um... The Platinum will take you about 20 hours. Now, the reason the Platinum is so difficult, besides the online trophies, which we know if you're a trophy hunter can really, well, piss you off, depending on how the online is. It could be bad, and it could be good. But you have to beat Adventure Mode twice. Technically, more than twice, depending how your skill is, because you have to do a lot of miscellaneous crap. But you have to beat Adventure Mode on Hard Mode and Expert Mode, a.k.a. Your skills will depend on your difficultiness for this Platinum. Now, I've not played the game since 2019. That's when it came out. Played it for a little while, then unfortunately got lost in the shuffle like many of my games. About a few years old because other games came out that I was more hyped for. Or no one really had it on my friends list, so I couldn't really enjoy the multiplayer mode. Um, so this time I'm hoping since it is with Plus, a lot of my friends downloaded and get and, and go racing with me um but unfortunately i will see this i think a lot of people pass on this because it is a sonic game sonic you know he's still beloved by his cult fans and people who grew up with him a lot of the fans not a lot of young people like sonic today and i blame the pace for that um how could you not love the blue little guy um he's a hedgehog plus i'm going to say this i think this should have probably came out in april since that's when the second film comes out Probably would have been a better choice, but mm, March is still a good choice. Um, I would definitely be playing it. I actually reinstalled it on disc so I could be ready to play with a bunch of my friends. So just know, my friends on PlayStation, I will make you download it because I will bug you to death about it. I would be more annoying than a Ben Corbin promo. And then that gets us to the last one, Ark Survival Evolved, which is for the PS4. It is an MMO survival game, so for you people that like to create and have imagination, this game's for you. 
Unfortunately, if you're like me, whose imagination died around 2001, hashtag thanks WCW, yeah. um, you probably may avoid this game. Now, I'm not the best at MMO. Um, not really my cup of tea. I know there is that the fan base out there, and I think they'll enjoy this. But I think for me, it's just going to be in my library, and it's just going to get cobwebs and look like an 80-year-old hooker by the time I get to it. Um, but the Platinum is a 2 out of 10. Not that difficult at all. You can get everything in one play, one, and it would take you about 10 hours. Um, so the hardest one would probably be Team Sonic Racing and Ghost Runner, just depending on your skill. Um, I can't really say anything about Ghost of Legends, uh, Ghost of Shima Legends, because it's the multiplayer. I have not done anything with that, so there's no information about that technically. Because when you look up Ghost of Shima Legends trophies, it just takes you to the main game. So you be warned with that. Uh, probably ask people who have played it and get their opinion on it a little bit better than what I can, unfortunately. But what do I give this month? Well, last month, if you remember, I gave it one of my worst grades ever, an F slash D minus, because it was terrible. This month, though, I'm giving it a B plus. Yes, and I do own Team Sonic Racing, Ghost Runner, and Ghost of Tsushima, but all three games are great, and I actually would recommend them, even if they were not becoming... Uh, coming to plus, more or less. Um, MM Arc Survival, I'm probably going to ask a few friends I know who like MMOs once they play it to get their opinion about it, so I have a better detail if I would enjoy it. But definitely download Team Sonic Racing. If you got a PS5, definitely get Ghost Runner. It is a fun game. More fun than Cyberpunk, I have to admit. And Ghost of uh, Tsushima Legends, it's multiplayer. I'd say give it a shot, see what, what happens. Worst case, it sucks. Best case, you get killed alive. Or you do the killing. Um, so till tonight, hopefully, if my back holds up and the weather's not a complete bitch, um, I will be getting back to Ghost of Tsushima or Psychonauts, and we'll finish Psychonauts if I get back to that, because we're kind of at the end of the game for that. Um, of course, don't forget, though, starting in March, uh, that's when I kind of disappear a lot because of March Madness. Ooh, yeah, get into the madness of college basketball. I'm going to have my beer. I'm going to have my soda. I'm going to have my pizza and my chips ready to go. Hopefully, Notre Dame does make the tournament. If not, I would still watch because I know Duke's going to make it, and it would be Coach K's last tournament as he is retiring after the March Madness tournament. Win it all. He's either going to win it on, go out as a champion, or he would be losing, but he'll still go out high because he is probably the best Coach Duke's ever had. And it will be interesting to see what happens next year with Duke um, when he's no longer there. There might be a little bit of a learning curve or uh, uh, difficulty for a little while. Anyway, thank you for enjoying this video. If you liked it, please remember to subscribe if you would so wish and hit that like button. And let me know what you think about the plus games for this and month. Tip your waitress. Unless it's at Hooters and then just go brr, brr, motor loading. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, let me know what you think. I uh, hope you guys have a good, safe weekend. And don't forget, it's almost St. Patty's Day as well. So find yourself a weedy little leprechaun and get the pot of gold. Bye-bye.